I was offered a free tractor. Yeah, we're just gonna set this off. Oh, look. Look at that rocker cover. I'm gonna say this thing is locked up. Didn't turn that way. I can rock it just a hair. Since this thing has got diesel still in it, and we haven't changed filters or anything, here's the filter. I don't see any holes or cracks or anything in the filter itself, so I don't think we've introduced any uh, water into it here. We checked the fuel, feels good. Um, now there could be some air in the system. I don't, I'm not comfortable with trying to open up any of these lines. I feel like they would snap. Uh, so we're not going to try to bleed air out of the system or anything like that. We're going to just, you know, try to use some WD-40 when we are ready to try to get this thing started. hooked up negative cable like I said it's too short so I don't know how this is gonna work Much I think it's trying to start Ceiling. Trying to get a two cylinder started on one cylinder is not going to be the easiest on it. We've got one cylinder with weak compression, and another one with zero, you know, with probably rust on the intake valve. And it's just not, I don't know that it's going to go. I think we may have a lost cause here. It's also not getting any diesel yet. I'm going to give the starter a break. Yeah, if that one intake valve was sealing, I think it would run. I think it's gonna run. We got some heat in the cylinders. Come on. 
starts shaking when it fires and my screwdriver slips off. firing on diesel now. <laughs> Let's give it a little less throttle. May not be wanting to start with that much fuel. It's definitely, I'm pretty sure it's firing on diesel now. not puffing out the intake anymore. I think once it started trying to fire it, it blew off whatever carbon was on the intake or rust or whatever was on the intake valve. Yeah, it, that valve's, I think, sealing now. That's, that's good. Spray the valve again. Spray up here. It fired and popped out the intake. So we got an intake valve that's kind of sealing. Uh, it may have stopped popping out the intake because I stopped spraying WD-40. May have been that cylinder may not be getting diesel. Oh, it's so close. Got all pressure. 
This rock arm must be uh, plugged up. It's not oil. Anymore. But I can't. I can't change the throttle anymore. Uh, the shaft moves, but it's not moving the injection. other way to turn it off. I don't want to let it run too long with no water or anything in it. But we'll have to, I guess, work on the injection pump. Even though this is turning, it's the lever on the shaft that's turning. The injection pump itself is not turning. So I'm going to have to probably take this lever off and work on the shaft and try to get it freed up. But it runs. We'll let it cool off a little bit, and then we'll see if it'll start back up. I don't know if y'all saw, but there's roaches and stuff climbing out of the uh, the water neck here. All right, it's uh, cooled off a little bit. We'll just see if it'll start back up. Transmission are working. Not the easiest to cut off. All right. Well. I think the next thing, I don't know, I guess I need to try to make sure I can free up the injection pump. If I can, I'll order a valve cover and we're going to have to figure out this water pump situation. It is, I mean, it, there, it is froze up. So, and then this water neck is broke off or corroded off. So it's got a lot of stuff like that. Then, like I said, it, clutch seems okay. The PTO engaged. Transmission went reverse and first. So, uh, we've got the hydraulic lines that have holes in it on the other side. So I kinda, I guess, need to make a parts list and see what all kinds of stuff we got. Um, it needs an air cleaner. We would probably, probably just put some other kind of air cleaner, maybe a Donaldson or something. Uh, probably get that easier and cheaper and would work just as good. So I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the battery and the charger and all that kind of stuff. Um, looks like we're dripping. Oh, that's where it's slinging oil. Uh, this rocker arm I don't think is oiling. The other three are. Probably take something and try to clean this out. This is the one that was directly under the biggest rust hole so probably just got some rust down in there I'll uh, take a picture of the water pump see what the bolt pattern looks like on it so I can try to match it up with what I can find online get a price on that most of the ones I was seeing for these things are about $100 um, and then I don't know what we would do for a generator it's in sad shape and we're gonna have to figure out a fan 
uh, seat and all the levers that are froze up. So it, it's got a long list of parts needed.